Well, thank you so much, uh, Ginger Lomain, uh, for performing on Advocate Sessions today. Uh, it's, uh, amazing, awesome set. Uh, uh, thanks again. Um, first off, I'd like to ask you guys, like, how'd you get your name? It's uh, really interesting. I guess I'll take this. Yeah. It's looking over me. Um, <laughs> so, the gentleman is not here. The gentleman is not here right now. Um, started the band with Joey and myself uh, about three and a half years ago, maybe. And um, first thing to say, he's, he's Korean, and um, he lived here in Northampton, and everyone would always stop him and ask him where the best Chinese food was. They would pull over their cars on the side of the road and say, hey, where's the best Chinese food? And like, oh, that's horrible. I, I, I would say, yeah, I said, I was like, Josh, you're gonna put up with this? He's like, don't worry, I got it. And be like, yo, man, really, I love this place over here. It'd be really nice. He would tell him where to go get food. And then we walk away, and he's like, that jerk, he didn't even know, but like, you know, he would still be nice to the person. And um, so it was kind of a joke. We started talking about Chinese food, and he's like, did you know lo mein's not even for Chinese? You know, and he went on and on about that and how it's Americanized. And I said, well, kind of like how everyone thinks that you're lo mein, but you're not even, you know, you know, you're Korean. And he's like, yeah, isn't it funny? And then I guess it was that, and then my red hair, and then it was ginger lo mein. And then, yeah, that was it. His dad made it, he made lo mein, called it junkyard lo mein. At first he wanted to be called junkyard lo mein, and you were like, no, wait, let's call it ginger lo mein, because I'm a ginger. That's I what I remember. I don't remember. <laughs> That's what I remember happening. I remember everyone stopping and asking where the best Chinese food is, but I remember the name coming from his dad always made junkyard lo mein. And he was like, we should call ourselves Junkyard Lo Mein. And you were like, I remember Junkyard this Junkyard Junkyard. statement now that he speaks about it. Yeah, I remember <laughs> we, we have contradictory uh, no, origin I, theories. I don't, it's, I don't think it's contradictory. <laughs> I just don't it, really, it started yeah. with the Junkyard Lo Mein. And then it was just, there was supposed to be a joke, just the Ginger Lo Mein. And then it went to Ginger Lo Mein, Ginger like Ninja. We just kept spicing up the name. Yeah, with the whole, yeah, the, just the whole stereotype thing. We've been called yeah. Ginger Lo Mein. Ginga, yeah, yeah. so. Ginga. Ginga. Yeah, we probably yeah. haven't thought about how to start <laughs> in the first place, but so yeah, I guess that is that is definitely true. Though I do I do recall junkyard for some reason. Junkyard low man. Junkyard low man. Uh, I guess next, um, can you guys? Uh, uh, you, you pretty much told me a little bit about how you got started, but uh, uh, I, I guess how, how have you found the Valley music scene to be? And uh, what do you love being? Why do you love being a part of it? Um, when we look back, I've been studying a lot about jazz lately, and like, bebop was created in like back in like back rooms after shows late night in New York City, and like you know, I feel like we're all part of our own. Not maybe it's not going to be as huge as like you know jazz was or things like that, but it's all happening right now around here. You know, I don't know who's to say is playing the most innovative or fresh things that are going to stick, but. There's a lot of b new music being created every day around here. It's good to be part of it. That's how I see it. Yeah. And uh, could you tell me a little bit about your influences as a group? Uh, Somebody take this. Yeah, one. I got a couple of them. Yeah, I. Um, well, there's a lot of influence right here. I mean, I. Uh, me personally, I cr pretty much grew up on jazz. I grew up on fusion, um, and that's where I'm good pretty much today. <laughs> um, I mean, you know, I. Um, my roots is in jazz, personally. I know, you know, Joey's a big Jocko fan. I'm a, I'm Joe Zawinul, personally, is my favorite keyboardist, um, amongst other jazz musicians. Um, Chick Corea, Herbie Hancock, Ahmad Jamal, um, you know, Keith, Jarrett. Keith Jarrett, all those guys. Um, but it's cool because I've, you know, when you talk about the name, I've always figured that it's really you think about a lo mein, you think about like it's spicy, it's got a lot of different stuff in it. We bring a we like mesh our influences completely together. I mean, I know for yourself, you're a big fish fan. For a grew up time. on what metal Stop and listening to it. Exactly. Right. Right. Much much like it. So it's like a it's like a it's like a funk fusion, but it's really you know, and I know you grew up on Zeppelin and stuff like that. You know, so it's like this jazz, straight head jazz, which we've all studied. You know, um, I have a bachelor's in music theory um, we've all had uh, schooling schooling in music and studies in jazz and classical um, and it's just it's a hodgepodge you know it's like a hodgepodge oh, it is though <laughs> no it is it's a hodgepodge what's, of what's like that different sects of rock cornucopia? and jazz influence <laughs> there you go yeah so you know I'll, I'll we all write admit to stealing that you know so interesting 
Um, so, do you have any plans, uh, uh, kind of upcoming for any, uh, like a record, uh, any any projects in the work? Uh, we have a lot of music that we haven't finished composing, actually. So, if we did finish all that, it would be a new record. But okay. we released <laughs> our EP, uh, Wonder Lawn, about maybe nine or ten months ago, or is it longer than that? Almost a year. It was almost a year ago, yeah. Okay. yeah. yeah. Um, and but if we went if we went record it again, it would definitely be like a concept album as opposed to just getting some music out, you know. And uh, do you have any shows coming up in the next uh, couple weeks to month? Um, we don't, but these guys do in their other bands. Um, we might have something coming up the twenty first of April. So we're waiting to hear back and confirm everything. Like okay, that. Mm. but. Well, uh, I'll, uh, where, where, if people want to uh, check out more of your music, uh, you guys have a Facebook page? Facebook. We have an Instagram, Instagram. as well as a SoundCloud. And SoundCloud, yeah, we have CDs. Awesome. Well, thanks again, uh, Digital Man. Thanks a lot, awesome. you guys, for coming in. I appreciate it. Yeah. yeah.